Hey sixth graders, Mrs. Simonson here. We're going to do a quick review lesson tonight for lesson point four on graphing. Much of it you should already know, um, but we need to get a quick review as we move into the graphing part of our algebra unit. So two objectives is to plot pairs of numbers on a coordinate grid, and the second is to identify algebraic expressions on a graph. So we taped in this vocabulary in class today so that you wouldn't have to copy all of it down. So if we have this coordinate grid, our x-axis again is here, and our y-axis is here. So if we have the coordinates, or ordered pair 5, 3, we always do the x-axis first. And 5 is positive, so we'd be moving to the right of the origin. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the right. And then 3 for the y is 3 in the positive direction, so 3 up. So this is the ordered pair 5, 3, the location of the ordered pair 5, 3. The next one is negative 7, 2. So again, starting at the origin, negative 7 is on the x-axis, so it would be going to the left of the origin. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. <laughs> and then 2 is the y-coordinate, so positive 2. So here is negative 7, 2. Starting at the origin again for the third ordered pair, 2, negative 5. So 2 is going along the x-axis to the right. Negative 5 is going down on the y-axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So right there is 2, negative 5. Now the only reason I'm showing you the drag, like where I'm moving, is just so you can see it. When you draw coordinates, you don't need to do your drag lines. Negative 3, negative 8 is our last one, so we're starting at the origin, going in the negative direction on the x-axis, and the negative direction on the y-axis. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I think I need to go one more maybe, and this is negative 3, negative 8. So key is the first number is always the x. Second number is always the y. You don't need to show your drag marks. All right, so I want you to solve problems one, two, and three in your notebook. You don't need to copy down this grid. All you need to do is write the ordered pair for each point. Now we're going to put together some of our previous work in our three first lessons and graphing. Let's say we have the algebraic expression y equals 2 times x plus 1. And we're going to evaluate it by giving it some different variable values for x. For example, what if x was 0? So we'd have 2 times 0 plus 1. Well, 2 times 0 plus 1 is 1. So when x is 0, y is 1. What if x was 1? So 2 times 1 plus 1. This would result in a value for y of 2 times 1 plus 1 is 3. So we'd have 0. Nope, sorry, we would have 1 when x is 1. Let's see if I'll give me the eraser. There we go. If x is 1, y was 3. Now what if we gave x the value of 2? 2 times 2 plus 1, that would be 5. So when x is 2, y is 5. Now we can plot these onto the graph. So 0, 1 would be right here, 1, 3 right here, and 2, 5 would be right here. Then we could use, um, let's see if I can get to it. I was going to say we could use a straight line to then draw. I don't think it's on my toolbar, so we're going to kind of have to hand draw it. But if we drew a line segment connecting those dots, we have just graphed y equals 2 times 1, or 2 times x plus 1. All right, now it's your chance. We formatted this table in class as part of our note setup, and I gave you a grid to tape in so you can graph. So what we want you to do is find three ordered pairs as solutions to the equation y equals 5 times x plus 2, and then graph it. Press play when you're ready to check your work.
The next type of problems we're going to work with are very common on the 6th grade MCAs. So you'll want to make sure you have a solid understanding of how this problem is working. They're going to give us a graph that will have a line on it and choices for different equations and they want us to find which equation is represented in the graph. It's a simple um, problem to solve in that the first thing you do is find some ordered pairs on the line. So, for example, I could choose this pair right here. This ordered pair for that location is 2, 3. X is 2, Y is 3. Now what I'm going to do is plug in those values to each of my four options and see which one would indeed make it equal. So X is 3, and in this case we have opposite X. Well, that's not equal, so this cannot be represented by that graph. In the next one, y is 3 equal to x. Well, 3 does not equal 2, so it can't be that equation. In this one, x is 2, y is 3. 2 is not equal to 3 plus 1, so it can't be this equation. So 3 equals 2 plus 1. This indeed is equal to each other, so this is the equation represented by this. Now it's your turn to try. We want you to solve problems 5 and 6 in your notebook. You don't need to copy down the graph. You don't need to copy down all four equations. Simply write down the equation that matches the graph. Press play when you're ready to check your work. We want you to try two more problems. Again, like with 5 and 6, you don't need to copy down the graph and all four equations. You simply need to write down the correct equation for the graph. Press play when you're ready to check your work. So again, tonight we worked with some graphing. Objective A should have been review of plotting pairs, on a number, pairs of numbers on a coordinate grid. But the second objective might have been new to you, but it is a problem we often see on the MCAs, and that's to identify algebraic expressions on a graph. At this time, review any portion of this video as you prepare to take your quiz at Schoology. We'll see you next time.